The number one mistake that people make when a solar eclipse comes around is not seeing the solar eclipse. We've never seen a solar eclipse before, but we're very excited about the solar eclipse that's about to take place. People who have seen solar eclipses say that it is a transcendent experience. There's just something unique about it. You hear from so many people who have seen them. So I'd say the number one mistake about solar eclipses is just simply missing it. Now beyond that, there are a bunch of myths about solar eclipses that we wanna dispel right away. So a lot of people seem to think that you can go blind during a solar eclipse. And the truth is, Yes, you can go blind during a solar eclipse, but it's got nothing to do with the solar eclipse per se. The sun gives out radiation. If you're looking at the sun, that's not good for your eyes. And that's true during a solar eclipse, and it's true not during a solar eclipse. It turns out that actually, if you have a total solar eclipse and the moon is completely in front of the sun, that's the one time that you can actually look for a couple of seconds at the sun, because at that point, you're only seeing the corona features that are not directly sunlight coming into your eyes. So that's the one time that you can actually look at it. But in general, when you're looking at an eclipse, just make sure that you have the correct sunglasses on, the correct eclipse glasses, I should say. They should say that they're accepted by the ISO standards on the glasses. That's how you know that it's the right glasses. But beyond that, there's no special radiation that's coming out of a solar eclipse that you need to be concerned about. Well, beyond the one that is already coming from the sun, right. there's nothing more that comes from the solar eclipse itself. But the reason that the solar eclipse is dangerous in terms of eye blindness is because the part of the sun is obscured and it takes away some of the sting that we usually feel when we look directly at the sun. Therefore, we are more able to look at the sun and that's why it's more dangerous. Right. And we're more incentivized. We, we, yes. we want to be looking at it because we know that it's, you know, something's happening, and, but you just can't look directly at the sun unless well, you have the right glasses. Right, and something to remember is that the total eclipse does not happen. You are not able to see total eclipse everywhere. And right. so for instance, we're being in Princeton, New Jersey, we're at most going to see 90% of the sun blocked, which is the dangerous part. If we had the total eclipse for a particular period of time, it would be possible to look directly at the sun, but at 90%, this thing is taken out. You can look at it, but you really, really should not. Yeah, and, and you should just be sure to always wear the glasses during the eclipse, be safe, you know, it, it'll still be amazing. Make sure you're wearing the glasses. What's recommended is that you never look at the eclipse and then put the glasses on. You look away, you put the glasses on, you look at the sun, you look away before you take the glasses off and never ever should your eyes and the eclipse meet. The important point that you made is that they are specific and special glasses. Yes. They have specific filters. So your regular sunglasses, even though they may say UVA, UVB, it's not the same thing. Yeah. It will not protect you from the actual rays that can cause the damage to the eyes. Yeah, and just make sure that they're ISO approved. There's a couple other myths, but they go along the same patterns. That there's a myth out there that if you're pregnant, you shouldn't be out in the solar eclipse. That's completely false. Again, the solar eclipse, the, the main thing is just that you just, you know, it's still the same radiation from the sun. Just don't be looking directly at it. Everything else should be okay. And what's interesting about the solar eclipse is that, and I, I didn't know this until reading about this recently, the moon is about 400 times smaller than the sun and also about 400 times closer to us than the sun. So that's why it lines up so nicely where, where it actually looks. The power of perspective is the at play. The power of yes. perspective is at play. And that's why the moon and the sun tend to look about the same size to us in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So solar eclipse is not to be missed. Definitely something that requires a little bit of planning so that you are safe but definitely an experience that is not going to happen for a while. Now, there are certain places where you can see the solar eclipse in 2026 and then 2044, I believe, yeah. and then 2079. So we're looking at decades of separation between yeah. these events. But don't wait for those. Get out there. Do it safely. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.